Outstanding. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Eldorado's production tutorial videos. Today we're not doing nothing about no tutorial scene. We are talking about your digital audio workstation, mainly referred to as DAW. Yes, there are many DAW out there. You can choose from one thing, you see me? But today, we just want to show you about um, FL Studio. They get to know basics, you see me? Because, you know, I got a message from someone say if we can teach him how to use FL Studio, and I just say, I can show you the basics. You see me? Until you understand the basics, then we can move on to advanced stuff. You see me? So, you just give me an idea, say, why not do a, a video? Because people who tune into my channel and thing, you know, say, you know, them, them have many other choice. It, it don't matter which DAW you use, is that most of the stuff, them just apply the same way, you see, it? when it come on to automation and all of these things. Yeah, man, I mean, my daughter, there today. Anyways, um, they have DAW, they like FL Studio Pro Tools, QBS, New Window, Ableton, Machine, uh, Logic, Bitwig, uh, Mixcraft, uh, what leap of them? What leap of them? I think IK Multimedia, I must have KQA, I must have them on DAW thing and see me and thing, you see me? So, today we just all focus on um, FL Studio. Currently I'm using 12.42. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to upgrade to 12.5 or 12.5 something, but I haven't done so as yet because the time I did the upgrade to it is like we kind of find a lot of glitches inside of it, so I just delete it and reinstall about the 12.4. Anyways, uh, the get to know basics with the DAW is how to operate around it. You see it up here, so this little icon will turn blue. You view a playlist. This is how you come, come compose your stuff, them and thing your piece where you have piece after your, your make your, your pattern or your. Alright, me slow down a little bit. Before I reach so the main thing you have to know how to load 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 your sound banks. Them. See, like the, the the sound kit them where you download from the internet and thing. So that's one of the main basic you have to learn how to do and thing. So if you do that now, you click on option, you go down to file settings, and you click a little folder. You navigate, which your 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 sound folder there, your kit folder, in which I already select one already. This is my one. So you click one and click OK. It should come up and over here. So we have all. You click over here so and it's supposed to come up. So you can see there are the mix kit. We don't want a whole different folder in it. Yeah, man. Those are some jump kits. I may download some, may buy some, make it. You see, but I build for my own kit in which we just start. The other day, and thing you can see, no much night, but I, I just sounds I mean mostly use go in a this this hit kit value number one. I think me will split in a two kit and do some other different kit, but for now, me just start this one. Anyways, you have to know how to really set up your MIDI control to if you buy a keyboard and thing. A MIDI keyboard in which I'm using a AK a, a, I must say AGK AGK or AGM 032 may I use but that is currently at the studio and I'm currently in the home now um, the interface may I use at my home is a Behringer U4 or UMC 204 HD yeah man that's that's the, the interface I'm using at home for me record or my compost show or me probably might watch one, one show and thing, you see me? Uh, I'm not using the internal mic preamp, we come with it, the Midas preamp, we, we, we come with it, in which I'm using another Behringer um, preamp, the 
my 2200 as me my preamp and may i use a compressor after the preamp see me in which me use that at the studio but me now go talk about that and me now get into detail about hardware you see me anyways uh audio settings me normally show me a record this video me have to put it on this normally more put it on um umc asio driver or the the, the 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 direct sound card itself like yeah man the brain just use so I use a uh, asio sound driver more well all right anyways hold on anyways moving on from that you know what me normally leave me some rate at for the 400 some people put it at a higher sample rate but I don't see the difference when I build instrumental because whenever I mix any bounce out and everything figure up on the figure a Zodiac or Happy Loss we go up on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon etc etc it all boils on back to 4400 so I just do everything at 4400 in which at times like when I make uh, a short a short video or short ads track yeah we may do advertisement when we do a track feed we might carry it to a higher sample rate and thing so we want the best quality so we carry it to a higher sample rate anyways moving on from that uh we leave everything as is we're really coming at it and thing yeah, if you do certain type of project, you you probably might want probably. It depends on how you really see if it, or who you are gonna do the work for and what key you have to build. You just enter info. So every time you open a project, this supposed to come up and give a hint about what you are doing. Um, now I found that how to add your plugin them after you install them as VST. Normally, you just come over here so. And it would automatically scan for me, automatically scan. But if you, add, if you scan it fast, you go up and add. You go over to refresh plugin playlist fast scan. You see, you have a deeper scan than fast scan, but fast scan is the way to get you really up and running with, with, with basic plugin. Because to how, as I say, I don't really mix in an in a, in a, in a, in a FL studio for purpose, but we have my reasons and one down vst the effects vst them then take a long while to load and whenever me I refresh the browser it take a whole lot of long time to really add one plugin if me install or a new one but when me install just um virtual instrument it just is it tends to scan a lot faster than the effects plugin them and thing so that's a full one. You can add plugins. You can add plugins to find up here so too. Yeah, you take a while to load. And you can add plugins from here also. You look a plus down here so. You can add plugins from here also. Yeah. After you add plugin, you have to right click piano roll. If you go on the piano roll, thing. really set up your stuff yes, Kimanja, everybody hear you yeah leave it alone do not touch the keyboard yeah <coughs> big data yes moving on from adding plugins uh, when you come on to sound kit you can just click drag drop and you just use a sequence when you don't want them whenever you add one you just open four more first you can set custom you can set custom um what you call it now and tempo you have to do that man custom tempo or you can scroll up and when you hover over it, it's one arrow up and down, you right click and you push your mouse either up or down. 
really get it to how you want it. That's how you really mess around and add all of those stuff. So after you have your, your pattern here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you have your pattern here, you click upon view playlist. So you place the pattern there. And compose it to how you really write your song and stuff. But for you really take your off it. I can piece it. Not all the while it work like that. Sometimes you have to go in it. If you if you dry it out, you have to press Control A, to select all, Control C, to copy, and Control V to paste. In which we go get to shortcuts in a, in, a, in another video, right? So mix it now. Mix it now. Me set up mine. As a little bit different. Normally, you would have seen the stuff over here, so. But you can just right click over here, so. Right, right click wide, and you switch side. Reason being put here over here, so. Cause through the mix, the 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 with um, the browser window over here, so. And say for instance, you know. Me 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 me. Like, um. Say for yeah, attitude yeah. R over here so and drag it quick and fast. Yeah. Drag it quick and fast. And in here instead of you just instead of you just drag it all the way over here so you can just drag it and drop it right here so, so <coughs> the same applies when you have a new plugin you just right click and flag as favorite. When you flag it as favorite you come up here so it as favorite because would that be a, like your go to plugins you would normally flag as favorite and none to remove them replace none to remove them you can really save you can you can save them certain settings you can save them as preset so your, your sounds and Curves and um, compression settings you normally would have used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compression settings you normally use, you can save it as that for quick and fast. Um, transient processor. I'll try to remember if the register is fully. If not, I'm going to do it as soon as I finish. Of them are new plugins. There are some new plugins coming out in um, not this one, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's how we could have done it. I can't remember the, the, the new plugins I'm going to read. Look at this. I don't say this is one of them. But they have some more. So I'm going to try and remember if maybe it's fully ready. <coughs> it's supposed to. But I don't know. I don't remember the new plugins that come, but a lot of new plugins coming at this. Uh, quite a few. I look like I have got upgrade to 2.5. Can't remember. Anyways, um, where is me if you got you? You can select. Your, your main snap up here, so or oh, everything would have set up like when you open the, the, the piano roll and over on the playlist here, so and thing. 
you can just click here so if we click them on and off yes so you can roll on and off browser window you can close and open it if we select plugins and so forth all of the plugins that we have and new Whatever plugin fruity loose come with this supposed to be Yep, we come outside and tempo tap that you, 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 depends on how you the mumble or how you the say this and how you say that you just tap on it like three times to get a, a, a tempo, a starting point and thing. So uh where's my need to go? go through yeah file to save you can import midi files you can export or you export now or you, or you really export like if you are going to mix now the next DAW if you have 10 track over on the, 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 the channel rack and them all assign you just click on the first one right click solo it and left click left click all of them after to really mark them turn off these also and then you'll go up on file export wave always export as wave and normally mother put zero there and click save so you click save now you go up on split mixer track mode full are selected leave remainder that's uh, the tail part uh, because if you cut off it because sometimes some of the sound they might have some like reverb or delay in it if you put put it on cut remainder if you put it on cut remainder it's like you just all cut off all uh, the delay and, and tail at the end and whatnot you see me normally put your 24 point sync whatever fuck that mean hq for all plugins I may split mix a track or if I bounce out a demo, I unclick that and click mp3 click mp3 bit probably might lower the, the bit rate to CD quality see yeah so you can change the size of your, your mixer by clicking on where the wide icon is you can put your really compact to small or compact to really smaller and you can put it on extra large you get that big funny looking thing while three wide two wide three. just work and fit the way home really want it to fit um if you really record the night you can really record you in the, using this I, this just driver so normally if you go for an option again and semi select umc as your driver see so normally click here so don't click the top one them because the top one must tell you you click one them underneath it like one two three four none one then this will just show say the arm for record you click up your so on record and when you click record everything you just start record see that you can record in a edison you can record in a edison I record in the Edison and editing it and just drag it out and the playlist view or you can record directly on the playlist view you can that, that, that just your mean go around and you can here's the way you do uh, uh, create your, your pattern different pattern if you have a drum pattern different from a 
piano pattern or drum pattern from the kick pattern from a snare or hi hat, you can separate the pattern them and really name them. If you want it, you can click find next empty. I give you just pattern two R. You can go on find next empty. You name your how you want or them give you some custom name. Ready to go on your kick and then Ride and if you click over your thing, or uh, yeah, them name, or you can just name them and switch yours to and paste it. You know, so I hope I hope that, yeah, and save your click control, save control S, save, and you can come up with a come save. And control alt and z if you do one and do so yeah so that's not just your basics to get around the software and thing hope this really help if you have any other thing you really want me to cover just leave a comment send me a message or something you know yeah so until next time Eldorado speaking peace out